Um, well, before I worked in galleries, I actually got a degree in visual arts and photography. So I studied as an artist and wanted to become an artist at one stage. Discovered that um, I was better at talking about art than making it. You know. Um, so I, I rocked up in Sydney after a couple of years living in um, the UK and got a job down at the Art House Gallery in Daddy Oh, yeah. Yeah. Who represents some amazing artists, some young, incredible Australian artists. And then for six years, um, I worked for Tim Olson. Yeah. So we were working with emerging artists, but also with very high end artists John Olson, David Larwell, uh, Phil Hunter, who so you've just done a talk with, um, Robert Jacks, yeah. etc. Yeah. As well as some really young, exciting artists, Guy Maestri, uh, Tim Somerton, yeah. uh, a few others. Fantastic. So it's six years of really hard work putting on shows in two different gallery spaces. And then I decided that I needed to do that for myself because I really enjoyed finding young artists and giving them a voice. Yes, because, because this is an art of a generation. Yeah. And you're giving breath to an artist of a generation of galleries like Tim can't. Well, that's right. I kind of felt that emerging artists didn't really get a voice in the gallery system because yeah. everyone wants to, you know, bring back the big names and especially with the kind of market that we had for the last 15 years or so, it was like big name, big name, big name, and the, the younger artists didn't really get a chance. So I found after I left Tim's gallery, there were so many young, incredible artists like Mike and like Bundy around that weren't getting the representation. So, so how did you meet Mike? How did you actually meet? He was a dark and stormy night. <laughs> <laughs> Our eyes met across the counter. Yes. <laughs> He'll do! <laughs> enough to work uh, between Tim's gallery and opening my gallery at uh, the Affordable Art Shows. Oh, and yeah. I was the director there for 12 months and yes. we put on three amazing shows in Sydney, Melbourne and Brisbane. And Mike was one of the new generation artists, the young generation artists there. Yeah, right. yeah. And so I kind of met a lot of artists through that job. And um, when I opened the gallery, Mike was one of the first artists to come aboard. And so when you saw Mike's work and you spoke to Mike, did you have a relationship with your then? Were you... Well, we did. We met. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Well, I yeah. Because the, the relationship is really important. I mean, artists, artists are in a different headspace, and that's what you buy into, basically. You're buying into a different perspective on a world. And because you're in a different headspace, there are often um, sensibilities are very different from yours and mine. Mm -hmm. And I've met so many artists where I've been in their house and the electricity wasn't on because they didn't pay the electricity bill, the gas wasn't on because they didn't pay the gas bill, uh, they couldn't understand why the council was repossessing the house because no one's had paid the rent. That wasn't their place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it, it does require an incredible rough crowd. So, Rebecca, I would imagine you're from a creative industry yourself. I mean, what industry are you from? Uh, Dance, jewelry, and, and banking and stuff. And you do have a slight American accent. I am American, yes. <laughs> so where did you meet? Uh, in the Philippines, or? No, I met him in New York under a tree in a storm at a concert. <laughs> <laughs> How many drugs were involved? <laughs> 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 Kylie Minogue, you know what they said when Kylie, I think she met him at that rock star. Oh and there's Michael Hutchinson. Oh on the night they met, they did five Actually. illegal things. And everyone's trying to work out what the fifth one was. <laughs> <laughs> to this day, no one can work out what the fifth illegal thing was. So you, you just met by complete black chance. Absolutely. Or, so, or not. Yeah. So um, were you working in the creative industries then? Were you dancing? Uh, well, ostensibly, I ended up working. Boy under a tree and uh, <laughs> started painting pictures in the South Pacific. And so, and did he literally sweep you off the fifth moon? Yeah, pretty much. I, I uh, yeah, uh, saved some money and he went to Europe and that didn't last very long, a couple of weeks. And I saved as much money as I could, and the next thing I knew, I was in Kuji. <laughs> <laughs> Do you 
as part of the creative process, are you involved? How involved are you? Uh, not at all? A lot? Or a little bit? I'm rather involved, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I help out in yeah. matches, yeah. Would you say a muse? Um, my muse? Yeah. I don't know, down there is pretty beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> not a muse. <laughs> So you, <laughs> so you help with titles? Titles, concepts. Titles and work with the show? Yeah. And because you move so much, do you have the luxury of taking a studio? Do you have a studio in the house or do you have a house studio? Well, our uh, studio is finally in our house again. Uh, we, before we are living where we're living now, we were, as I said, on an island in the Philippines. And Michael was flying back to Fitzroy every time somebody, you know, there was a commission or a show or something. <laughs> driving me crazy. So, about uh, four weeks ago, we finally have the studio in the house. And I do mean in the house because in the hallway there are paintings stacked up so that our kids are going down like this. <laughs> and yeah, it's in the living room, it's under the chairs, the spray cans are under the. So, are you asked to comment or do you comment? Do you, do oh, I comment. Do you, yeah. <laughs> because the filtering process is really important. I mean, Michael, do you filter your own work? Are you good at filtering and curating your own work, or do you require other people coming in? Well, Rebecca's my best, best critic, really. Yeah, she'll tell it like it is. I'll often have to, well, not often, but occasionally I've had to repaint paintings because she said that that isn't working. Yeah, and you know, I trust her. Yeah, yeah. She's, she's right most of the time. Yeah, yeah. Does it put pressures on the relationship, working together, being together, children? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely? Yeah. yeah. Moving, kids, um, me being an artist and not really artsy. And just to, Are you yeah. going to go off and do an art practice as the children get older? Uh, yeah, that's the plan. Yeah, yeah, I'm a little bit nervous now that, you know. <laughs> anyway, yes. Because Michael's career's taken off. Yeah, that's right. And you're financially relatively secure, I would thought. Yeah, well, that's, that's, that's yeah, yeah. Um, who are your dealers in Australia? Michael? Um, well, Ian, obviously. Um, Melbourne? Melbourne, uh, 